to go into production. So if the Lucid loses here today, well, the Lucid engineering team loses their job. With an additional rear motor, 1,200 plus horsepower, and grippy Michelins, the Sapphire can finally go head to head with the triple motor, 1,020 horsepower Tesla Model S Plaid. They both get to race the speed and horsepower champion. And look, nothing comes close to a Bugatti. Not in price, not in engineering, and certainly not in opulence. This is a Chiron Borsport, which means it has a <laughs> fixed wang. It also has come to our tires, no sound deadening, and shortened gear ratios. To say nothing of the <clears throat> 1,479 horsepower. <laughs> so now we race. Ha, ha, ha. is going to be a production car world record because that is a 9.1. And keep in mind, this isn't a treated surface like you'd see at a drag strip. This is just regular old asphalt. The last time we raced a Lucid versus a Tesla, the Lucid was eight car lengths behind. Now it's three in front. And you wouldn't have thought that going from 1,111 horsepower in the Lucid Air to 1,200 plus in the Sapphire would have made that much of a difference, but it did, and it's all about traction and torque at the rear wheels. At these levels of acceleration, so much weight is shifted rearward that the front wheels aren't really contributing that much. In the Dream Edition, that meant the rear motor was maxed out, but the front motor was reducing its output to avoid wheel spin. Adding a second motor to the rear means the Sapphire now has enough power at the back that it can take full advantage of all of the traction it has at the rear, meaning, it's maxing out all four tires. 